The beauty of Angular is in its components. So why don't we create a separate component for this particular toolbar? So we have this app, then we have this shared, and here we have the shared module. I want to create a new component for this toolbar over here. So for that, let's open a new terminal window, and we can do that easily by clicking on this plus button over here. Let's write the command. So we have to write ng g c. I want to create a component and I want to create it inside shared folder. So here I can write shared then the components and over here I can write the name of my component. Either you can use header or toolbar or anything else that you like you can give as per your need. So let's say here I'm writing toolbar. Hit the enter button And immediately you can see there are some changes and four files have been created for us. We have one folder over here toolbar and there are four files. Inside this shared module also we are having this declaration and this is the toolbar component. Let's save all the changes and go back to the app.component.html from this place. Let's cut this entire code. So we were using this one. Save the changes. Go back to this toolbar.component.html and remove this existing code save it over here again let's go back to this app.component.html and over here we have written some code in this css also so let's cut this one as well and we can move this code in this toolbar component like this cool now again go back to this app component html and over here either you can remove this code or you can comment it out because we don't need two separate toolbars so let's just comment it just save the changes and let's go back to the previous terminal window this is the previous one and here you can see we are getting few errors what are the errors it is saying this application does not know anything about this mat icon and before that it is saying this application does not know anything about mat toolbar but if you will wonder that we have already included the corresponding modules in the app module why still we are getting these errors this is because every module is separate in itself here we are using these components in the shared module but we have not defined anything in the shared module you can see we are not importing anything in the shared module so how can we fix this problem the fix is very simple go back to the app module and we can copy all these names and we can paste them in the shared module so let's copy it go back to this shared module inside the imports let's paste all of them save the changes we have to import it also so let's import copy this particular code and paste it over here just save the changes let's see what we got in the error section now you can see that the build is working fine and because we are not using that component that is why it is not visible to us to use it we can use this particular selector it is app toolbar so let's copy it and go back to the app component html over here we can use this particular selector save the changes let's see what we got so again you can notice we are getting the error what is the error now this time this module does not know anything about app toolbar so we have to tell this app module that there is something selector with name app toolbar so for that first we have to go to this shared module and inside the exports array we have to use this toolbar component let's do that so we can create one more array with name exports and here first let's define it and why we are making this change why we are defining this toolbar component under this exports array it means we are telling this application that the shared module has a component that can be used outside also. So there are two things. First is that this module is telling that you can use it outside. This doesn't mean that all the modules will use this component. In case any module want to use this component, then they have to import it. At the bottom side, you can see that the error is gone. Let's go back to the browser. And here you can see that we are having this toolbar. What is the relationship in between shared module and the app module? You can notice that we are already importing this shared module in this app module. This is the code for that. So this is how the relationship is working. Whatever components we have in the export section of the shared module, 
those are available for this app module also if i will remove this shared module from this app module then you will notice immediately we will get an error here you can see we are getting the error that this app toolbar is not defined just for the testing purpose let's go back to the app component file and this is the beauty of the component that i can only paste this code multiple times let's say i'm pasting it three times save the changes go back to the browser and you can see we are getting the entire code three times you only have to write this particular tag and you will get whatever you have defined inside this component over here let's remove both of them because we only need one save the changes and here you can see that the toolbar is working fine in a separate component.